Hey everyone, we're going to talk about carrier oils next. So this is um, what you're going to blend your essential oils in. And there's various reasons you want to do so. Many essential oils should never be applied neat to your skin. So a carrier oil makes it possible to apply it topically. Essential oils also evaporate very quickly. So a carrier oil will slow down that evaporation, allowing the benefits of the essential oils to be absorbed into your skin. And it's cost effective because if it's not evaporating, then, you know, you're not using as much. Um, and also you can spread it around greater parts of your skin. Uh, just a couple of drops in um, a tablespoon of essential oil, of, uh, sorry, of carrier oil. So it lets you save money because you get the most effect by the smallest amount of oil. So when choosing a good carrier oil, you want to check the comedogenic rating of it. So this is the, um, the rating that indicates how probable it is that will clog your pores. So it starts at zero and goes up to five. So the higher the number, the more likely it is that it could clog your pores. So people who have acne prone skin should always use an oil with a comedogenic rating of under um, three, three or less. Whenever possible, you want to choose organic, cold pressed, um, uh, and unrefined oils. All right, because you don't want your quality oil to be uh, affected by the processing and then it's no longer quality. So some options you have, coconut oil, probably the highest ranked uh, rated oil, the most popular carrier oil out there. Um, so for, for the solid coconut oil, you'd buy in a jar, comedogenic rating of four. And for fractionated coconut oil, that's the liquid at room temperature, you're looking at a two to three comedogenic rating. So if you're acne prone skin, stick towards the fractionated coconut oil. Um, it's really, really great for nourishing your hair, for dry skin. Uh, it has a really long shelf life. There's a reason that this is the most popular of the oils, of the carrier oils. Next, olive oil, common genetic rating of two. So this obviously comes from the fruit of the olive tree. Uh, it doesn't have much of a scent to it, so it's really nice to blend with most essential oils. Non-greasy, works in almost any skin type and hair type. Next, we have grapeseed oil, common genetic rating of two. So this obviously comes from the grape seeds, uh, extracted oil out of the grape seeds, and it's full of antioxidants and other benefits. It also doesn't make your skin greasy, and it has a mild astringent property to it. So really, really nice for acne prone skin. That's grapeseed oil. Then next we have sweet almond oil, which has a rating of two. So this is extracted from the dried fruit of the almond tree. Really high vitamin E. So really nice um, for aging skin. Really good to nourish your skin, regenerate new skin cells, lock in that moisture. Really nice for people who have dry skin. Also a natural antioxidant. So again, really nice for aging skin. Next, we have jojoba oil, which has a common genetic rating of two. So this comes from the seeds of the jojoba tree. It has a bit of a nutty aroma to it. Uh, it works really well combined with almost any essential oil, especially those that have antifungal properties because it kind of so does this oil. So uh, it's a nice blend. This most closely resembles human sebum. So it makes an excellent moisturizer for using on face and neck. It also doesn't look oily on your skin. Getting down to the last couple here, we've got rosehip oil, which has a common genetic rating of one. So this comes from the seeds of the musk rose and it's um, extremely high in vitamin A and vitamin E. So it's a really highly sought after carrier oil for skincare. So I use this every night um, before I go to bed. And then in the morning, when I don't have listed on here, is raspberry seed oil, which has a common genetic rating of one as well. And it also has a SPF of super high, like 50. So it's a really nice one to put on in your morning routine. So I will actually use um, both rosehip at night, and then I'll use raspberry seed in the morning, and I will add in my essential oils for my face. But anyways, these are carrier oils. There's many others to choose from. These are the ones that I chose to focus on for today's video. All right. See you next time.